Hey guys, it's Dina again, and um, I have just received a package today in the mail from Mac um, from the, um, let's see, what is it called? Heavenly Creature Collection that just released, um, I believe it was Monday. So um, I've got a few of the products that I picked up from the collection, and I've done some swatches here for you. So, you know, just in case you're interested in picking up any of the products, um, at least you'll have a better idea of what they look like. Now, do keep in mind, um, these are mineralized baked products, so every one of them that is out there is going to be a little bit different because the patterns just, you know, cr are created differently in the baking process. So um, these are the ones that I received from Mac. I didn't get to pick them out myself, but um, I'm actually pretty happy with what I received. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started with these and let you see what I have. And um, hopefully if you picked up any of the collection, you know, send me a video response or leave me a comment and let me know what you think about them. So um, let's go ahead and get started with the collection that I purchased. Um, we'll start with the MSF. So I'm going to go ahead and take the um, clear plastic thing out of here because I don't want to blind everybody. Um, the first MSF that I have here is called Lightyear. And this one is just like a um, very pale... I'd say um, it's almost like a skin tone um, as the base color, and then it has like a very, very light pale mauve, and then a really dark um, shimmery gold running through it here. Um, this one right here is definitely a highlight color, and this is the color right here, swatched dry, and then the one beside it is swatched wet. So I'd I mean, it's not a, you know, heavily pigmented, you know, where you're going to, you know, wear it and it's just going to, you know, make you look like a disco ball. This is a very subtle glow that this gives. So this would make a great um, brow bone highlighter, Cupid's bow highlighter, that kind of thing there. Um, so, um, yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm not uh, dissatisfied with it at all. I know I'll definitely get some use out of it. So that one, again, is called Lightyear. I'm going to try to adjust the lighting here just a bit. Okay, the next one here is my favorite MSF that um, I've, I think I've ever purchased. This one is called Star Wonder. And um, there we go. This one is a champagne base with a um, shimmery um, pinky mauve. And you know, the... the the pink color right here in the MSF reminds me a lot of the blush called Love Rock that was released um, several collections ago. I can't even remember. I know I picked mine up at a um, CCO. But anyway, that has that, and then there's a very bright um, kind of a golden champagne veining running through it here. So um, this is the way it looks in the light. I've got a great... Um, large area here and then you know so I can pick up a lot of the different colors here so it's kind of cool and then we've got this really light pink running through it so um, this is the swatch here dry and the, and that is you know I probably ran across it a couple times lightly this is the the swatch wet so it is a little bit more intensely pigmented if you if you wear these wet um, with any baked product it's like that so if you can see that one's actually very pretty I'm Definitely going to use this tomorrow as a blush. I'm really, really liking that color. So, again, that is Star Wonder MSF. All right, moving on to the blushes from the collection. There are three that I picked up from the collection. The first one is called Solar Ray. And I really wish this camera would pick up better. And I know that the um, um, sound on it is crap but um, at least I can upload directly. There we go, Solar Ray. I can upload directly instead of having to wait for it to process and all that. So I just do it with my phone. Okay, this one is a very light peachy pink shimmery color, and then it's got like a mid-toned yellow gold veining running through it. So the swatch for that one is, and I, and I swatch these kind of funky, so you'll have to bear with me. This is the swatch of it dry. So, I mean, it's not insanely pigmented, but um, it does have some decent pigmentation. This right here is a swatch of the 
um, same blush, wet. So as you can see, you get a lot more intensity um, when, when they're swatched wet. So I really wish the lighting would show up better on these. But it's just washing it out. Yeah, that might be a little bit better. So you can actually see the wet swatch and the dry swatch. So it's definitely got a lot of orangey, peachy uh, tone to it. And again, that one is Solar Ray. All right, the next one that we have is called Ring of Saturn. And it's actually got a little bit of it's like bubbling in the thing. You hadn't even probably so hot off the press that it didn't even <laughs> have time to dry. But anyway, yeah, Ring of Saturn. This one is a mauve a uh, shimmery mauve with a, um, I'd say like a really pale, like skin tone shimmer color running through it. And that one is um, right here on my hand, swatched dry. So it's got a little bit of, you know, warmer tones to it. And then right here is the color swatched wet. So you can really see it has a lot more, um, almost like a terracotta color once it's swatched um, wet. So um, again, this one is the dry swatch here. This is the wet swatch here. So that one's got, you know, pretty decent pigmentation. Um, and again, that one is Ring of Saturn. So the last and final item from the collection is the one that I saw online on a blog post um, and I literally had like a um, shopper's meltdown. Like I put a reminder in my phone because this collection was supposed to release, I believe, on July 5th. I put a reminder in my phone to wake me up at midnight on the 5th of July if I wasn't already awake um, to remind me to get onto the MAC website and order this as soon as, was, as soon as it was released. But they actually released it a week early. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I got the email, you know, what was it, Monday morning, and immediately went on and placed my order. So um, I'm hoping that if you're just now seeing this video and seeing these swatches and you want some of the items, I hope that they're still available for you because I know how that is to just be, you know, they sell out so quickly with these collections. But this is probably some of the items or the very first items that I've ordered from a collection in several months. I mean, you know, because they'll release a collection. It seems like every time you turn around there's another collection. But this one I was really excited about. So this is actually their fall collection. Um, but this one right here is called Supernova, and this is a bright magenta pink. Sorry for the my phone going off. Um, this is a bright magenta pink with a um, mid-toned, it's not real shimmery, the um, veining that's running through it. So I'm not sure how well it's going to show up, but it's kind of like a darker beigey gold color running through it. And this one is highly, highly pigmented. Um, this is the color swatch um, dry, and that was one swipe across it. So as you can see, it's a very um, berry pink color. And then check out the wet swatch right here on the bottom. So, I mean, that has got some insane pigmentation. You can definitely blend these out. I mean, they're not going to, you know, smack you in the face. You know, it looks like you got slap ten times and your cheeks are just on fire. I mean, you can definitely blend these down um, and they're very easy to work with. So, um, yeah, I'm really, really happy with all the items that I received from the collection. Um, my two favorites would definitely be um, the uh, Star Wonder MSS that's got the um, pinky color. I love this. I'm, I'm just, I'm in love with this one right here. Um, this one and then the Supernova blush. Those two are definitely my favorite. But I'm a big pink fan anyway. I mean, at work they call me pinky because I have everything. I have pink iPhone case, pink purse, pink lunch bag. You know, I've got sparsy crystals all over everything. I mean, it's just like, I just, I love pink. So, you know, I can't help it. I'm a girl. <laughs> so, um, anyway, um, you know, let me know if there's anything that you picked up from the collection, if there's any questions that you might have about any of the items that I picked up. You know, please feel free to send me a message, and I will get back with you as soon as I can. Um, usually it doesn't take me too long to respond. Um, and, um, yeah, if you're new, um, 
go ahead and click that subscribe button and you know give me a thumbs up if you like the video and you like the swatches and um, if there's any questions again you know just let me know and um, I guess that's about it besides I just want to again thank you to all the subscribers that I currently have I have a lot of interactions back and forth and I've met some really super nice people through um, the beauty community of e or eBay good lord what am I thinking of YouTube I guess I need to go on eBay because I was thinking of something that I needed a while ago but anyway um, yeah those are the swatches those are the items that I picked up from the collection again I picked them up from the website um, I don't know what all is still available or if anything is still available at this point. But, um, yeah, so um, let me know what you think. If you have any questions, you know, send me a message. And if there's anything that you would um, be interested in me reviewing, um, send me a message. Let me know. I need some ideas. So I will talk to everyone next time in my next video. And thank you for watching. And hope everyone has a safe and happy Fourth of July. Talk to you later. Bye.